my name is uh, Sharon Rabinder. Uh, thank you so much uh, to everyone, at, uh, to Denise and Andre and everyone, and Farai at, uh, o, at One Quantum. Um, I'll just explain that I came to Quantum via my work with the uh, stellar Grenoble area of France. You can see it here in this um, in this lovely slide. Um, I was a French major in college, and uh, I've worked for the French uh, ever ever since then. And I came to uh, women in quantum via my work with Grenoble and through my activities with women in Lava, the Los Angeles Venture Association, uh, where I'm also uh, I'm on the Women in Lava Committee on the board and also on the uh, chair co-chair of the Global Lava Community. So I like to start with this slide um, uh, and then continue. And um, I, I like to show this slide second just to put in perspective uh, the Grenoble area with its distinctive Y Valley, uh, Lyon to the upper west and the Geneva uh, and its airport to the, uh, to the upper right um, and our three mountain ranges. So um, this slide will tell you about our excellence in digital technologies. Um, we call ourselves the European Silicon Valley. Uh, we have a, um, an amazing number of students uh, in engineering uh, that are one of the main draws. The talent is one of the main draws for our region. Uh, also, we'll be talking a lot about CEA, the former uh, nuclear energy uh, Research Center, which is which does a lot more than nuclear, and um, no nuclear down in the Grenoble area. So that's that red logo in the middle. It's been named the number three most innovative uh, public research institute in the in, in the world. Um, we have thousands and thousands of jobs in digital technologies, and I'll talk about our unique uh, hardware and software blend. So. Um, the digital community um, here just just showing you the blend of uh, micro nanotechnologies, electronics and computing and software. I like to show people the European synchrotron radiation facility. We have an, impress an impressive array of in international scientific facilities. This is one. Um, the, uh, this facility was actually recently upgraded and it's going back online uh, next month. The other institutes are, for example, the ILL, the Institut Langevin, which is a world leader in uh, neutron science and technology. We have the Euro uh, European Molecular Biology Lab, the Institute for um, Bioscience science Advances, and also a, a Radio Astronomy Observatory, among others. So as far as uh, the digital sectors of expertise. Quantum computing um, is in uh, is in Grenoble, so along with edge computing and IoT, cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, and um, uh, big data. Oops. And um, sorry, I'm just going to move this. Um, and then we also, you have to include also the ethics uh, side of anything digital these, these days or at, at any time. Um, I like to talk about uh, Grenoble as being the birthplace of applied mathematics. I know that there are a good many mathematicians on this call, um, and so you probably will recognize uh, these gentlemen and these this entity. So hopefully we'll have some women on these slides when uh, at some point. Uh, Joseph Sifakis was the first uh, Turing Award um, awarded in France uh, back in 2007. So Grenoble has a history that is really tied to disruptive innovations. Um, we can start with the, um, with the music side, literature and music, uh, with Stendhal and Ber uh, Berlioz, and then uh, the invention of hydropower with, um, uh, with Monsieur Berges. Uh, Louis Neel is, was a Nobel Prize um, winner in physics, um, and we'll talk about the institute that's named after him as well. Um, the and also the Olympic Games in 1968 uh, with the first invention, the invention of the first Olympic mascot. 
So I've learned um, about quantum, and I'm certainly not an expert, uh, so anyone can feel free to enlighten me. Um, but thanks to uh, complexification of the codes, um, making quantum computing possible, uh, this will lead to an exponential increase in functionality in applications. And the applications will be ride widespread, such as, you know, in applications such as encryption, simulations, modeling, and forecasting. So quantum technologies, um, we understand that you need a unique ecosystem, which we believe uh, the Grenoble area has. Um, the, you need the quantum physics side. You need the condensed matter, the nanoscience. You need the mathematicians and computer science. You need the engineering. Uh, you need industry also to, um, to implement it. You need uh, philosophy and social sciences. So... This presents a um, the quantum ecosystem with the main uh, public institutes and then a couple of um, major uh, major companies uh, such as ST and Soytech. So in the Grenoble area, ST Microelectronics is is I'd say one of our one of our 800 pound gorillas. It's about 400 pounds. Uh, they they, along with uh, smaller companies like Provise and uh, Soytech, uh, contribute really uh, to the ecosystem and implement the research that's coming out of the, uh, the institutes listed here. So the LETI is part of C uh, CEA, so the um, 16,000 person National Research Institute that gains most of its um, working budget from partnerships with industry. So the other institutes here are, um, uh, are you know, diverse. Uh, you've got the, the universities, you've got the computer, computer science. There are three uh, INRIA uh, com computer science research institutes in the Grenoble area. There are, I think, eight in France. Three of them are in, in the, our area. Um, the other institutes I'll, uh, I'll go into uh, as needed. Uh, and also, uh, Maud Vinay will be speaking from CEA Leti on Wednesday, and she will detail her work with the Leti and the CNRS. So this is a, a slide of the private sector partners. I'm sure you'll recognize um, a lot of them. And they are supported by uh, Minologic, our competitive cluster in micro nanotechnologies and digital um, and the digital world. Uh, I should also mention that uh, Minologic and uh, the region is part of the powerful Rhone Alps, uh, Auvergne Rhone Alps region, uh, the number two most powerful uh, economic region in, in, in France. So that includes Lyon, Saint Etienne, Auvergne, all that, Chambéry, Savoie. Um, so this slide tells you just a little bit more about our renown in uh, in the quantum world. In January, we were um, also received another accolade, and we're the only region outside of the Paris area um, to be named as a quantum hub. So um, the quantum silicon Grenoble roadmap. Uh, will be discussed by Maud Vinay of CEA when she uh, speaks on on Wednesday. So I'm not not going to go in uh, into this very much, um, but I just wanted to uh, show the slide so that you can see uh, see exactly where we're going or trying to go. And uh, so Grenoble Alps is connected to the world in this way. Um, we have, uh, you know, nearly 500 foreign, uh, foreign owned companies. Uh, at one point, one point in time, four out of the top, uh, 10, um, sorry, four out of the top eight, uh, foreign companies, foreign employers in the Grenoble area were American companies. It's very international. Um, we, uh, also tout our international events. Um, however, that's that's changed a, a lot in, uh, since COVID times, uh, but we hope to have everyone back again and, and uh, 
look forward to our digital events in the meantime. Um, France's, France's se second largest English speaking community is in the Grenoble area, largely because um, so much in science takes place in, um, in English. And I wanted to um, encourage you all to join the Friends of Grenoble Global Communities. I run the one uh, in North America on LinkedIn. LinkedIn, you're welcome to join. Uh, there's an international one um, on Facebook and a couple of other places that my colleague uh, Veronique Pequigna runs. And um, the oh, and then there's, uh, I talked about our five major European research facilities. Uh, that's the last one. And this is just my uh, contact information. <laughs>